Russian pop duo Tattoo are reuniting in 2022, and have asked fans for suggestions on who should join them as guest acts at their upcoming concert. Lena Katina, who stormed the charts with Julia Vilkova from 1999 through 2011, showcased her demure look on Instagram, along with an announcement about reforming, revealing it will happen in spring next year. The official tattoo tribute in the spring of 2022, she penned. Please comment and name the artists slash DJ you would like to hear with us on the stage. Your opinion is important to us. Sick she captioned this with the hashtag hashtag tattoo comeback. Lena, 37, displayed a style worlds away from when she performed with Julia, 36, in the band originally. Ditching the frizzy pigtails and short skirt of her teen look, Lena now rocks sleek russet locks and a more conservative getup. Julia appeared in tattoo with a cropped pixie cut, now displaying buoy and raven tresses and pouty lips. The group were best known for their track All The Things She Said, which famously raised eyebrows for its raunchy music video. In it, Julia and Lena were seen in schoolgirl outfits, kissing passionately in the rain, while being watched by their peers. Julia welcomed her first child, a daughter named Victoria, in 2004 when she was just 19 years old. She later gave birth to a baby boy named Samir in 2007 with her now ex-husband Parviz Yasinov. The mom of two has continued to make headlines over the years, after briefly converting to Islam in 2010, before returning to her birth religion of Eastern Orthodox Christianity in 2017. The bisexual songstress shocked fans during a television appearance in 2014 when she made homophobic comments about homosexual men. When asked if she would condemn her own son for being gay, she responded, Yes, I would condemn him because I believe that a real man must be a real man. A man has no right to be a F. Despite her strong views, she stated that she didn't have a problem with lesbians. Two girls together, not the same thing as two men together. It seems to me that lesbians look aesthetically much nicer. In April 2021, she launched a political career as a candidate for Russia's conservative party, United Russia, but was crushed in the legislative election. Meanwhile, her bandmate Lena has taken a far less controversial path over the years. The redhead has largely focused on her solo music career since leaving T. ATU she's released three studio albums so far and topped the U. S Billboard Club chart with her 2011 single Never Forget. Lena welcomed a son named Alexander in 2015 with her then husband, Sasha Kuzmanovic. The couple got divorced in 2019. Unlike Julia, Lena has shown support for the LGBT community, stating in 2014, I think everybody should be free to love who they love and be with whom they want to spend their life with. Tattoo were formed in 1999 in Moscow by Russian music producer Ivan Shapovalov. They skyrocketed to international fame in 2002 with the English-language release of their single All The Things She Said, which topped the charts in Australia and the UK. The video was banned and censored in some countries, although the controversy only served to promote the song further. At the time, the pair played into a lesbian gimmick where they pretended to be in love with each other and in a relationship. However, they later admitted that their lesbian persona was a fake marketing gimmick cooked up by Shape Overlove for shock value. 
Some of their other attention-grabbing publicity stunts included performing on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno in 2003 wearing t-shirts that had FK the war written in Russian, and attempting to run for Russian president in 2004. Lena and Julia have been in multiple feuds with each other over the years, and weren't on speaking terms as recently as June this year.